Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Hey! A little green man that actually turns into a UFO! <laughs> Is that racist? Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Cosmos and Payload. So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is, we got a picture of Cosmos all like, I'm a spaceman, I don't know. <laughs> yes, thrilling 30, 30 years of Transformers, Autobot symbol, Cosmo, on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, you have your tech specs right there for Cosmos, you have your tech specs for Payload, and you got your bio if you want to read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here we have Cosmos and Payload. Now first, we'll take a look at Payload, and we'll move on to Cosmos. So here is Payload, who, as you can see, is a uh, space shuttle. It is very nice. Nice white. White and black. Red Autobot symbol right there. Some, uh, some of that gunmetal gray on the rear thrusters. Uh, of course, when you turn it around, visible everything syndrome, but we're not going to look at that yet. No, no, no. We're not going to look at that. But there it is in its shuttle mode. And just for comparison, here he is with Flanker. And you can see how they look together. So, there you go. And transformation is extremely simple. You just yep, stand it up, take the wings, flip them up onto his back, and there you go. There you have Payload in his robot mode. I actually do like his robot mode. I think it looks really, really good. If we can get in close on the face. It's actually a nice head sculpt. They actually did a really good job painting it, too. With the blue and the red helmets. And I believe the eyes are painted in red. And it looks really good. Got that gunmetal gray uh, on the chest, which looks really nice. And yeah, he's got some big old feet. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I, I think he's one of my favorites. Um, Articulation-wise, the arms can just do a, th a 360. And that's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get out of these little guys. And just for comparison, here he is with, whoop, Flanker. Again, just so you can get a sense of how they scale with each other. So, there you have that. And of course, he does have a weapon mode, and for his gun mode, you just want to put his arms up. You want to bring out the, uh, the handle here. And it's nice that the handle actually has this little lip to it that actually covers up his face. It's a nice touch. And then you take this section here, and you push it back, and there you have the gun mode. It's actually a really good gun mode. I do like this gun mode quite a bit. So, there you have that. Unfortunately, uh, you can't really use this gun mode for Cosmos. It doesn't, doesn't plug anywhere. The way you integrate this into Cosmos' uh, UFO mode is you put it back into shuttle mode. Let's bring that back down. Bring this back around. Put this down, and basically, you see here, the two guns that are sticking out of the front of Cosmos, you're going to take them and plug them into the rear thrusters. Just line it up, plug it in, and there you go. That's your integration. And I guess it's supposed to be the shuttle is towing Cosmos, I guess? I... <laughs> why not? Dare I say why not? So, there you go. That's your integration with Cosmos. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll put him off to the side, and now uh, we'll focus on Cosmos. And as you can see, he's a little green flying saucer, as he's always been. But a very nice one. Um, one thing I do like and always appreciate, the green plastic is done with that metal flake finish, and I love it when they do that. I just love it. It just sparkles. Sparkles just the way I like. Got some nice yellow detailing as well as silver. Some blue. And a little bit of red right there up top. You got the rear thrusters there. Painted in. In yellow also. Um, this does kind of have the problem that uh, Swerve has where 
Probably could have used a second coat of paint on some of this yellow because some of it you can kind of see the green bleeding through, but eh, it's alright. But yeah, pretty nice. And again, he's got the, the dual guns up front. Underside, you don't really see much but his uh, most crotch, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, very nicely done. Now for comparison, here he is with Eye Gear's Mini Warrior. They're uh, their Cosmos. You can see, you know, a bit smaller. And of course, I hooked this one up with uh, with Repro labels. You can see how that looks. I had to get the sticker set for this guy because it actually looks really good on him. Yay, Repro labels! I love them so much. But yeah, there you have the two Cosmoses, the Cosmices. I don't know how you would say that plurally. Cosmos, whatever, okay. Comparison's done. All right, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, all right, so. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come right up front here. You're going to untab these sections right here. You're going to bring that down. Take this section right there, bring that down like that. And then, what are we doing? We're going to rotate this like that. So it's facing backwards. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that down, bring that down, rotate it like that, and we're almost done. <laughs> now you're going to take this whole assembly here, it's on a hinge, it's going to take that, bring the whole assembly down like that, to make this lower body. Now you're going to take this section right here, you're going to bring it up, because that's tabbing and that's holding these two, uh, these two sections in place. So now that that's freed up, you're going to take these whole sections here, you're going to bring them up on that hinge just like that and now you're going to take this whole upper torso section and you're going to rotate it around and mine's might end up let's see Oop, there we go mine's actually had the issue where by turning it it would actually dislodge itself from the peg luckily it didn't do it that time so there you go now you got the whole upper body rotated 180 take the arms untab them bring them down untab bring it down Take this flap here, bring that down, makes a little rocket jetpack for him. And you see there's a little notch right here behind his head, you just want to get your nail in there and pull up, pull up his head. Boop, there you go. There you go. There you have Cosmos in his robot mode. And he looks really cool. I really like this Cosmos. It's a very nicely done figure. Very, very nicely done. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Yes, he does have the bucket head. Little bit of splotchage there on the yellow paints on the uh, faceplate, but that's okay. Nice blue on the eyes, and overall, just a very nicely done mold. He's got some some big boxing glove fists. That's insane, but um, a nice mold. Very very well done. I love the fact that he ends up with freaking cannons on his knees. That's gangsta. That's gangsta if I've ever seen it. But yeah. Overall, though, a very nicely done Cosmos. Really, really cool. I dig it. I dig it very much. Now, articulation-wise, his head can rotate. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint, as well as this hinge here, which is for transformation. Uh, the elbows are on a ball joint, and they're also on this joint, if you can make some use of that. Um, you do get a waist joints, or more like a mid-torso joint, right there, hips are on a ball joint, you do get your knees on a ball joint, and you can use this transformation joint to give him kind of a double-jointed knee, give him a little more range of movement, so, he is pretty poseable, not super poseable, but decently poseable, and of course we'll get payload back into his gun mode. And of course, you can hold his weapon like that. And he actually looks really cool with this gun. I like it. I like it very much. Very nicely done. Now for comparison, here he is with Eye Gears, Cosmos, or UFO. Here you can see. I honestly have to say, I think I like. I think I like this guy better. This guy's cool. I do like him very much. I mean, he looks really good with the repro labels on him. But um, I have to say, this guy, he's, he's, he's really cool. I think he edges him out. I think he definitely edges him out as far as which one I like better. And here he is with his wave mates. 
swerve. You can see how they look together. And here he is with Prime. Again, just so you can get a sense of scale. So, there you go. Um, really do like this guy. Uh, again, like I said, with, you know, just like with Swerve, you know, some of the yellow paint could have used a second coat because, you know, you can see a little bit of that green bleeding through. But um, other than that, it's a really nice mold, and I really, really like it. I think this is a very, very well done Cosmos. And definitely worth having. You know, this one, this figure is is really good also, but honestly, um, I, I would honestly say this is the one to get if you're looking for a good Cosmos, because he, he really, he really is a, a surprise hit, and I, I really am enjoying him and have had a lot of fun uh, messing with him, so. Definitely, good, good, solid toy. I like him, I like him very very much. We definitely recommend him if you see him, pick him up. So, I think that's pretty much it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Generations Cosmos and Payload, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Hey! Hey, Cosmos! Good to see you back from space, buddy! Yes! I have been on a journey! A oh, journey? Oh, I love that Earth Band! No! No, not that's not what I'm talking about! An actual journey! Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, well, but journey for what? I am looking for the six-fingered bot who killed my father. Oh, that's... That's, uh, kind of heavy? Yes. And when I find the six-fingered bot, I will look him in the eye, and I will say, Hello, my name is Cosmos. You killed my father. Prepare to die. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But what? You... You have killed my confidence! Prepare to die!